In in the year before we started the service, um, I came returned to the school as a counsellor, and during that time, I encountered a lot of young people who had experienced um, bullying, um, had felt themselves to be in difficulties with their peers, and for every young person that actually turned up for counselling for bullying and being the victim of bullying, I was always conscious that there was another person who was not in the counselling room who was the perpetrator of this, who in my mind was also a, a victim, so to speak, of this conflict. We had the aim of the sixth form being an aspirational place where there were no limits to what the students could achieve, each of the students having discovered his or her own pathway. So I think the difference with Bacon's to other schools was that they asked us to um, train a group of sixth form students, which we'd never done before. We'd always trained uniform students in the past. Um, so he was a bit unsure, but to be honest, it, it's it's the best thing to do. I think the sixth form was they've got the three periods, um, and we can also take them out in the community and work on cases with us there, there too. It was quite exciting. It was something new. No one really knew what we were getting ourselves into. So my strongest memory would have been that, that day when Dave came and did the speech for our sixth formers to join mediation. We're conscious that in schools, disputes happen all the time. Bullying takes place. People fall out with friends, fights take place. It becomes a very difficult situation because you're not prepared to stand down. You're not prepared to lose face and that becomes difficult. Ultimately, what happens then, if it gets too heavy, people get excluded. The objective for this project is to train 16 people as apprentice mediators so they set up their own project within the school. I think people were like, fascinated to see what was happening. So they wasn't afraid to come to us because they wanted to see what it was. I was actually really surprised at the reception that we got and how sort of the whole school folded into it and really took it on board. This course is about learning about yourself. So whatever happens today, you've all said that you can take something away from that, okay? So it's not for those, for everybody, about winning or losing. It's about the skills that you've learned and how you feel about certain situations now. Having a mediation service has been incredibly useful. It means that a lot of the low level um, arguments between students can be addressed very simply and a restorative justice can be in place. And then if that is in place, then we can work on some of the more challenging, long-standing issues. Even from, very, from, from, from their point of view, something that seems very big, it can then be kind of um, reduced uh, to have something that's a bit more manageable. And then, like I said, something can be resolved and they can move on from, from the situation. A lot of things which I would have to mediate with the students have been done by experienced students and obviously made my workload a little bit lighter. It's not as limited as other opportunities are to deal with the situation. In this, like in mediation, you know, we try to get the students to talk more first. So it's an opportunity for them to say how they feel, to speak up about what they think personally. And, you know, it's an opportunity for them to not do it when all the other students are around who are gonna make it more crazy, more hyped up. So for the students, it's definitely a big opportunity of how to deal with it in their own way, in the way that benefits them the best. I don't believe any of the year eights who've had mediation have come away sort of negatively about it. Every time I go into mediation and that it always works and like there's never been once that it hasn't worked and that like we follow the rules and that like we do what we're asked to do and if there was more rules then we would probably follow it and uh, it's just a good thing to have because like if we didn't have it then there would be fights and the inclusions and all that all the time. They help you to not get angry easily and give you advice. And when they say, um, whoever stays in this room, stays in this room, they mean it. After I went through the training, you kind of learn mediation isn't about telling people what to do. It's kind of like a listening process, learning all the facts, learning everything, and kind of like being in an environment where two participants can safely talk to each other without disrespecting each other or anything. And that's what we kind of learn. I 
mean, the training entails obviously the basic mediation process. The process is identical to what we use when we train adult mediators. Mm. But what's on top of that is their listening skills, looking at body language, looking at how they come across, looking at the body language of the clients that they're, they're, they're going to be sitting in front of them in terms of conflict, and lots about respect. I think the training was really good. Um, at first, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I didn't. I thought maybe we'd have to do a lot of written stuff, but it's actually been a lot of practical things that we were doing, um, a lot of hands-on activities, and yeah, I've learned a lot from it. We'll have like an um, role plays. We'll have like um, two clients who create some um, like a situation, like a, and we'll have to resolve it as mediators. So um, we um, go through like the ground rules and um, what we're trying to achieve through mediation and so on, and then we ask the clients questions about what happened and how to resolve the issue further. So I think that the mediators in Year 12 are really, really enthusiastic about like, mediating. Um, through the time that I've spent with them, I think they have a lot of questions, but that's good because they want to learn and they want to they want to mediate properly. After like kind of doing some demonstrations and showing them how we mediate, I think they they've really picked up on some little things that that really make a big difference, like kind of putting your own putting your own twist on it and um, kind of bringing your personality to the mediation. The peer mediators, the six formers, went into the communities where our students, where our Bacon students lived. And I think that was really important in helping to bridge any gaps that there might be in in terms of the perception of the students between college and home. I did a documentary in Year 13, uh, Kicked Out Kids, with Mel, um, and it was basically us mediating, I think, I remember, two sisters, um, and it's just like normal sort of sister disputes where it's like, uh, you know, she won't stop talking on the phone whilst I'm sleeping, that kind of thing. But obviously it was made a lot harder because of the situation that they sort of lived in. The girls are meeting Mel and Frim from Southwark Mediation to see if they can help. Me and my sister, we argue a lot. We have a lot of like disagreements with each other. We don't really listen to each other that well. And then like petty little arguments will just start and then we'll hit each other. And if I can't count on my mum or my dad, then I want to count on her as well as, as she can count on me. So yeah, we, we just sort of tried to mediate that as best as possible. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was really nice. It was a really good experience. Um, and then it just sort of showed what mediation is like outside of the school setting. So obviously the impact on the majority of the student body who are helped by the mediation team is obvious. Teachers have far less of these niggling, silly little behavioural issues that used to dominate a lot of their time. So the impact of that on, on, on the student body is, is clear to see. But what's also really important to remember is the impact it has on the students who actually perform the service. The calibre of student that comes out at the end of this process, having been a mediator, is hugely impressive. I think it's changed the way I listen to things and listen to people and just changed the whole way I think about people. As, as time went on through year 12 you could see that he was gaining a lot of confidence and really enjoying doing it. As well as all of the normal skills that come with mediation, while you're in the sixth form you learn a lot about responsibility and being a mediator puts you in quite a position of not power, but you have a lot of responsibility on you and I think having that responsibility really teaches you some important things about life. Personally it's changed the way I think about the world. I'm less bitey towards conflict, I'm far more calm, I'm laid back. I think about situations as a whole rather than in isolation. Mediation has helped me massively with emotional intelligence, which is about being able to read people, being aware of different people's situations, having empathy, um, and really putting yourselves in someone else's shoes. So that's something that I really value now and something that I'm quite good at thanks to the lessons that Dave and Mel taught me. Don't underestimate the power of every single team member that was trained by us. Um, for Bacons, 
you know, you are what made this service mm. it, what it is. Um, it is about an ethos that says, you know, we all make mistakes at times, and that's part of life, but actually in our school, we believe that we can forgive each other, not just by forgetting, but actually working through these difficulties together. You are a mediator for life. You might not realise until you get out, but that is it.